All right, in this series, we are going to go over how to make anti-capillar belts. Capillar, in all these videos, is that word that starts with an R, ends with an A. Basically, what we're going to be doing is making a belt to stop people from taking off your pant and attacking you when you're conscious or unconscious. Nothing can totally stop capital R, but this can help. Trigger warning, we're not going to discuss capital R and SA in depth, but it is a significant part of this, so it will be alluded to throughout the videos. Stop the videos at any time if it's getting to be too much. I have listed a breakdown of the sections of the videos in the comments and the description so that you can easily navigate around. There are four options I'll be covering. All options are low cost except the last one. So the first one is we are just creating a belt that you can lock. The second one is using a bike lock through the belt loops. The third one is my suggestion for most people. Basically, we are putting the lock through the pants. The fourth one is the nuclear option, which I really don't suggest for most people, but I will be going over mainly for safety reasons. In each option, I'll be going over the pros and the cons, as well as things to keep in mind, the risks and the total cost. They all allow you to adjust the belt length and to lock it. And all the designs are made from things you can easily get from the store, except the last option. I suggest listening to all the options as there's a lot of advice I might only say once uh, and not repeat just because that take a long time. <laughs> all right, when to wear these belts. Number one, when going to a friend's house or having friends over, especially male, I hate to say it, but it's true when you are alone. A lot of the time when someone is essayed, it is by someone you thought was a friend. You had no reason to think that they would do this and there was no way of knowing. They may be married, have a girlfriend or boyfriend, maybe you even helped them move, or you were just watching a movie, and then something goes in your drink. This is the kind I hear about the most. It's not a stranger, it's someone you know. All right, number two, at a party. This is the one people think about more because of drinking, etc. but it also includes just going out for drinks at a bar or being at social events. Another one is family. Sometimes you've got that weird uncle, aunt, cousin, and you would just feel safer wearing something like this. It's up to you. Another one would be walking downtown or going out at night. It's far more rare to get attacked by a stranger, but it does happen. Basically, these are for any situation or around any person or people, you wanna wear them. If you feel uncomfortable, you think something might happen, that, that is what these are for. You won't always be able to anticipate every situation. You just can't. But you can use these options when you feel unsafe. This is for you, do what you feel is right. Also, side note, many of these options, you can have a duplicate of the stuff in your car or your purse if you find yourself in an unexpected situation. Why make these belts? Why not use something like mace or a gun? So when it comes to things like mace, alarms, knives, things that stab, the problem is that you can be facing somebody much stronger than you. You may have been drinking or drugged or unconscious for some reason, and none of those work in that case. And you might freeze. A lot of people talk about the, the fight or flight mode, but actually you are far more likely to freeze in these situations. Your brain and your body just don't work. So you need something that doesn't really require you to do anything. The problem with something like a gun, aside from the freezing or possibly being unconscious, is that you are more likely to go to jail if they decide that you used it improperly or unnecessarily, and the gun can be used against you if they are able to wrangle it away from you. Now, I also have people say, well, why not use something like the nail polish? There's supposedly a nail polish out there that changes color if the drink is drugged. The problem with this nail polish, as well as the straws that change color if the drink is drugged, the anti capital R condom, the anti capillar underwear called AR wear and a myriad of other devices. The problem with these is that they don't exist. Uh, they got a lot of press and the company was either unable to make them or they never made it to market. And what also sucks about those is that people think that these are options and they aren't. You read the comments on YouTube for these stories and people are excited about it, but they have never come to fruition. And then yet another thing I hear people say is, well, you can learn martial arts. I hate this one. We should not all have to be Charlie's angels just to feel safe. It can be triggering to learn these martial arts, 
many people, if it has happened to them, they really don't want to go in a room where somebody's even pretending to attack them. And even if they haven't been attacked, the mere thought of it is terrifying enough and can, again, trigger them as soon as they walk through the door to the studio to learn it. Also, unlike when you walk into, let's say, a judo studio where you know you're going to be fighting, there is no notification when it happens in real life. There's no sign going, all right, get ready to fight this person. You are very likely to freeze up. Even if you have trained for it, they sneak up on you or somebody you trusted and you freeze. It also doesn't work if you're unconscious. So I made these belts with all the problems I've talked about here in mind. Number one, they can be made at home, so they exist, unlike all those devices in the newspaper, and you can get your hands on them by just getting the materials. Number two, they work if you freeze. Three, if you're drunk, drugged, or unconscious, they still work. Um, number four, they can just make you feel safer when walking around and going to places and going about your life. Capital R happens everywhere all the time, and we need more and better tools. I'm all for social change, but quite frankly, that is slow, and I need options now, not 50 years from now. And I have yet to see any better options. Thanks for listening, and let me know what you think. Now, with all my videos on my channel, feel free to share them. You can put them on your own channel or make your own take on these designs. Uh, all I ask is that you add a link or so to my channel and or other videos, just so that as I make these videos, your audience can see the other options, the other videos, so they don't have to go around the internet trying to find the rest of this. I hate that. So please leave the links in the description or in a comment that you pinned to the top.